All right, so today we're going to do our 7-3 elimination recap. I'm going to give you three examples of elimination. We're going to start from the easiest to the moderate to difficult. Um, and there are, so there are three examples. And after each example, I'm going to give you a chance to do one on your own that you need to include in your notes for class. So here's our first example. And remember, elimination means that you're going to be eliminating a variable from this equation. So the method of doing that is going to be to add the equations together. Now this is the easiest example because it doesn't require any um, work on our part, any prep. You've got negative 6y and positive 6y, and when you add the two equations together, they're going to cancel or eliminate. So 5x plus 3x gives us 8x, and negative 6y plus 6y cancels, and so then we get negative 32 uh, plus 48 is, I believe 16 in most countries. Divide by 8 and x equals 2. And that's how simple elimination can be. Once you have the first variable solved for, then you can go back and plug it into either equation. It doesn't matter which equation you plug it into. So I'm just going to pick the first one. 5x minus 6y equals negative 32. And then we're going to replace the uh, x is 2 in there, and we're going to solve this. So 10 minus 6y equals negative 32. We subtract 10 from both sides. Negative 6y equals negative 42. Divide by negative 6, and lo and behold, y equals positive 7. You should always write your solution as an ordered pair in alphabetical order. So x goes first, y goes second, and here is your solution to that problem. Now I'm going to have you try one on your own. There it is. You can pause now and um, write that down and do that example. We're going to move on to the next one. Example two. This is slightly uh, more complicated in that when you add the two equations together, nothing's going to cancel. Uh, 2 plus x is uh, 10x, sorry, plus 2x is 12. 5 plus 3 is 8. Nothing canceled. So in order for you to get it to cancel, you have to multiply one of the equations by something in order for it to cancel. So you have some options here. Uh, it doesn't matter which variable you choose to eliminate first, but there's always an easier way. Uh, for example, if I multiply the top equation by a 3, then this will be 15y. If I multiply the bottom equation by a negative 5, it will be negative 15y. That requires two steps. But if I choose the x variable instead, I can multiply the top equation by negative 5, and that only requires one step because that will give me a negative 10x. So I'm going to do that now, and I'm going to go 2x times negative 5 is negative 10x, and then 5y times negative 5 is negative 25y, and negative 22 times negative 5, I'm not even going to pretend I know, and that is going to be positive something, probably 110, now that I'm thinking about it. But there we go. And so now this orange equation has replaced this equation. And I continue with my addition. And this time when I add, because I have a negative 10x and a positive 10x, they're going to cancel. And then negative 25 plus 3 is going to be negative 20 dos. Sorry, 22. I don't want to confuse you with my Spanish. And then 110 plus 22 is going to give us 132. And by the way, the most common mistake that students make in this elimination process is not multiplying everything by the negative 5. You don't just multiply the x, it's every single term in the equation. So then we're going to divide by negative 22. At this point, it becomes a lot like the previous example. And 132 divided by negative 22 is going to give us a negative 6. So y equals negative 6. And like before, we are going to plug that back in. It doesn't matter which equation you plug it into. Uh, so 2x plus 5y equals negative 22 was the original equation. And we know that y is negative 6. So we plug that in for y and then continue to solve. So 2x minus 30 equals negative 22. Add 30 to both sides. 2x equals 30 minus 22 is ocho, divide by 2, and x equals 4. And once again, you want to put them in alphabetical order, so x goes first, y goes second, and here is your solution. 
at this point, we will let you try one on your own. And there it is. Again, pause the video and do that example on your own while we continue to the third and final example. And this one is the most difficult of them because no matter what you do, you are going to have to multiply both equations by something. Again, when I try to add them the way they are, nothing's going to cancel. Uh, 7 and 4 won't cancel, negative 3 and positive 2 won't cancel. Multiplying it by one equation won't help either. Um, but I will say that there's still an easier way. I'm going to choose to eliminate the y variable because they already have opposite signs, one's positive and one's negative. Um, and every time a student has to multiply by negative, there's just more chance for more error. So I'm going to times this by a 3 and times the bottom one by a 2. And to do that, or I'm going to do that because I want it to be um, 6 and negative 6. So 4x times 3 is 12x. Uh, 2y times 3 is going to give me positive 6y. And then 14 times 3 is going to be 10, 20, 30, 42. And at the bottom here, we're going to have 2 times 7x is going to give us 14x. Uh, this is going to give us negative 6y. And then negative 8 times 2 is negative 16. And now, when I add them together, the x's don't cancel. I'm going to get 26x. But the y's cancel because you have a positive 6 and a negative 6. And then 42 minus 16 is going to give you 26. And when I divide both sides by 26, lo and behold, x equals 1. Now that x equals 1, I go back to the original equation, and I say 4 times x plus 2y equals 14. I replace the x with a 1, so 4 plus 2y equals 14. Subtract 4 from both sides. 2y equals 10. Divide by 2 and y equals 5. And again, x goes first, y goes second, so my solution is 1, 5. And that is a, an example of where you have to multiply both equations. So now you can try this one on your own. And once you've done that, you have completed the exercises for this video. And that's where Gavin's supposed to turn it off. But now there's an awkward pause. Ha <laughs> ha! Happy studying!